For many years, the common idea of world cinema history in the West was pretty cut and dried. Japan, for the most part, you had Kurosawa, Ozu, Mizuguchi, uh, Russia, Eisenstein, Dovshenko, Padovkin. India was Sajit Ray. And Africa, the entire continent, was Usman Semben. But as the years went by, thanks to the writers and curators and distributors who sought out the rest of the work, this extremely narrow story kept getting wider and wider. In Africa, Semben was, by and large, the great inspirational figure, I mean, a real father figure. But before him, there was Gadala Gubara from Sudan. And there were other artists who made their first films shortly after Semben, like Suleiman Sisse in Mali, Umaru Ganda in Nigeria, Bed Hondo from Mauritania, and from Senegal, Jabril Diop Mbete. Unlike Semben and Sisse, Mbete had never had any formal training when he made his first picture. He just picked up a camera and started shooting. Papi, papi, papi. He made only a handful of films in his very short life. He died at the age of 54. But each one is very special and has its own unique energy. Tukibuki was made in 1973 for $30,000 and is something else again. It's a cinematic poem made with a raw, wild energy about a young couple who dream of leaving for France. Tukibuki was conceived at the time of a very violent crisis in my life, said Membete. I wanted to make a lot of things explode, and that's just what he did. Tukibuki explodes one image at a time. 